Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? I'm uh, out here working on producing a calf again and plugging in some Packard connectors and I thought real quick I'd show you how to properly apply dielectric grease to Packard connectors uh, to ensure uh, an easy to connect and disconnect connection that isn't um, gunked up or improperly lubricated. So let me let me show you what to do. Right, I'm going to put you in my little holder diddly here and then adjust you to where you can see what I'm doing. All right, that should do it just fine. All right, so in this case, we've got two Packard connectors. These are number 55. These would go to the in and outside of the switch for uh, the flame heater. You know, we don't have a flame heater on this truck, so uh, this is actually my field wire for the alternator. But what I'm doing is I'm connecting these two together, basically, and allowing another lead so I have um, another lead to go to the switch and go from the switch to something else. Uh, I'll probably use a, instead of a momentary, an actual on-off switch in that case. Um, but that's not the point. You know, when you plug these connectors in, it's always kind of a pain in the butt to get them to go in. You know, there's a lot of friction there. And when you pull them apart sometimes, after they've been apart for a long time, they don't want to come apart. They'll, sometimes they'll actually tear the rubber off. So to prevent that, we use some normal dielectric grease of your choice. You don't have to buy permanent hex, whatever we're in. It's just dielectric grease is dielectric grease. So we want, what we want to do here is we want to get a very exceedingly small amount, just like that. We'll take our connector here. And we'll just wet the outside of the shell. And then we're going to go around the bevel. But we're not going to put anything at all inside, understand? You put shit inside of there, it's going to cause you problems. We're going to do the other one the same way. And usually that small, small amount will be enough uh, to do two connectors. But... Sometimes you're going to get a little extra. See that? That's just enough. Don't take a whole lot. Now we'll take our three-way. We're going to plug in. See that went right in there. That went right in there. Just like your old lady, after you got her hot and bothered, it goes in a lot easier. All right. And then to unplug it, of course, you just... Well, I say that now I'm gonna look like a fool. It comes apart easy. It doesn't uh it doesn't want to pull the wire out of the connector or anything. So that's how you properly apply a dielectric grease to a Packard connection. Um I'm gonna reiterate one more time. Do not put grease inside on the contacts. Dielectric is a barrier to the travel of electrons. Okay, if you want to prevent dissimilar metal corrosion, say steel against aluminum, you put a dielectric between it. A piece of paper is all you need because it stops the flow of electrons. If you put grease in there in a connection, yeah, it may, hell, it probably will continue to conduct, but it's going to start causing you problems later on down the road because it's a barrier so um, i'm not going to beat that dead horse anymore i think i've done it enough already but please keep that in mind i know a lot of people over the years have been taught that you fill spark plug boots up with dielectric grease and you fill uh, light bulb sockets up with dielectric grease and that's just simply not the case um, you you the last place you want it is on the electrical contacts themselves if anything, you want to use it to help seal moisture out, but not on the contacts. All right, so oh, let me turn you around. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you found this helpful. Please take my advice. If you don't, you will end up regretting it at some point in time. Um, don't forget to check out our gracious sponsors. They are listed in the description below. 
uh, Big Mike's Motor Pool and RapcoParts.com. We get all of our hard parts, our military surplus parts from Big Mike, and we get all of our paint and body supplies from Rapco Parts. You can also get Jeep parts from Rapco Parts. That's kind of what they specialize in, their paints and their older military Jeep parts. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Later.